Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be restoring an old hand plane that was given to me by my grandpa. When I was a kid, unfortunately, my grandpa had a stroke and he lost the ability to speak and most of his mobility in his right hand. Selflessly, he gave me most of his tools and I was grateful because I used most of them extensively. But things like this hand plane that were in such bad shape, I never really got around to fix up and use. First I take all the parts off so I could start working on flattening the base. There was a lot of old dirt and rust on the bottom so I spent a lot of time making sure it was flat and all cleaned. I'm using a cheap water stone and some WD-40 to do the flattening process and I think it's 4,000 and 8,000 grit on each side. And like I said, I spent a lot of time making sure that the base was flat and that there was no high or low spots on it. Then I cleaned up the sides and I used the same process to clean up the rust and dirt. And I really liked how the base came out, it came out almost flawless. And here I'm just using a combination of two different files to knock off the rust off the top edge. It didn't really have to be that smooth, I just wanted to clean it up. Next I just ran it through the sink and some dish soap to clean off the dirt and the old sawdust. Next I work on sharpening the planer knives. And I didn't go into too much detail because this technique is probably incorrect, but it works for me. If you want more detail, definitely check out Matthew Cremona's YouTube page. He does great work, especially with his hand tools, and he does a great job describing how to sharpen them. And I'll leave a link in the description. So I used a fine grit belt on my belt sander because there was a big warp in the knife. Then I used the water stone to flatten it further. After that I worked on the edge that does all the cutting, and I just did the bevel by hand. Then I went ahead and cleaned up some of the rest of the parts. I'm using my drill to sand off the finish of the front handle, and that worked actually really well. Next I sanded both handles up to 400, and I put a Danish oil on it. I didn't want a thick film finish like a polyurethane or anything like that on them. After putting two coats of Danish oil on the handles, I reassembled all the pieces. And I should have paid attention to all the parts that it took off because getting it back together was a lot harder than I thought. So after a frustrating 20 minutes, I finally got to test it out. And it worked really well and I was pretty happy with the results. Here's the before photo and this is how it looks now. Looks pretty good and I'm pretty happy with it. It looks almost brand new and it works really nice. And I think my grandpa's gonna like it too. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.